It's um, about 20 past 9 here local time, which is about 20 past 7 UT. Uh, the eclipse is due to start at uh, 09.41 here in Valencia, so we've got about 20 minutes to go till first contact. This is an absolutely superb location. We're at the Museum of Arts and Sciences here in Valencia with spectacular architecture and some really very impressive buildings. The weather conditions look pretty good as well. The uh, sun's rising now into a fairly clear sky. There's some thin high cloud uh, over to the southeast, but nothing that's really going to cause us any problems. So we've got about 20 minutes to wait now until uh, first contact. Uh, Glenn's setting up his telescope and equipment here. The others will be along shortly, and we should really have an excellent eclipse here, I would think. That's countdown. That's it. That's counting down to first contact. Right. That's first contact. Should be now. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We're at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Oh, yes. Now I can see it. Well, this remarkable backdrop is the city of Valencia. It's the 3rd of October 2005, the second annual eclipse of this year, and we're here in this wonderful Spanish city on this amazing science park around us. The partial phase began at 9.42, bang on time, the sun is being eclipsed from the top, the moon is sliding steadily down, and at 1 minute past 11 this morning local time, we'll have a 95% annular here. We're not bang on the centre line, we're a little bit away north, so we won't have a perfect ring of fire around the moon, but it will be, uh, I'm sure, a, a very good event. We were rather concerned this morning, there was quite a lot of cloud about, but as we hoped, that's drifted out to sea, and we have here a glorious clear blue sky, almost ideal conditions, and a wonderful setting. So everything's set fair for a great eclipse. Well, I bet it was a benefit for them, because they've oh. got the eclipse for much less than they'd have to pay the black market. Oh, well, that's alright then. No se pone oscuro, no? Qué guay. Inglés, eh? no compro. Ah, vale. <laughs> Over there, too. Adios. Okay, adios. <laughs> Obviously, don't want to look at our bin. It's really good, isn't it? Yeah. It's superb. Yeah. What are the words we understand of the shadow? Well, I don't they know. understand uh, what shadow was. Yeah, El, okay. El shadow. Well, but you it's know, not ombre. Shadow. It's not it's a shadow. No, but yeah, I don't know yeah. what the word. What other words am I going to use? Image. 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 Shadow, they understood. It's a shadow, son. I know, yeah. I've got that with your hand as well. Yeah. 30 seconds. Really close, yeah. Yeah. Coming round. There. Oh, yes. Isn't the moon small? Papi, 
Well, it's just under an hour till uh, fourth contact. The annular phase is over. What a marvellous eclipse it's been. And it's not often at uh, events like this you get stent it's descended upon by the local paparazzi. But the ladies in our party, I'm sure, are going to appear in Ola magazine uh, next month's issue as an example of what the best-dressed eclipse watchers are wearing today, uh, looking through their viewers. Um, we have had a marvellous eclipse. The annular phase, superb. We got... Um, Bailey's bead certainly at uh, third contact and uh, it broke up into about four or five fragments about five o'clock. Slight evidence of Bailey's beads at second contact. But the wonderful thing was we got so many other effects as well. We got the beautiful presence through the leaves, through holes in a rubbish bin, which must be one of the most unusual eclipse projectors we've had. Um, and at the annular phase, we got the lovely uh, circles of light uh, projected by leaves. And we also got ripples in the water which were crescent shaped so really a whole gamut of things to do with uh, eclipse phases and on the top of the, uh, the Palais de Art over there there was probably some representatives of the uh, uh, eclipse uh, dangerous uh, sports club who observed from the top there which uh, I don't think I'd like to have done so it's a really nice event Valencia has done us proud so it's all downhill now till Libya on March the 29th 2006 Yes, okay. Coke and Nivea. Coke and Nivea, yes. Oh well. I think Amsterdam would be dreadful <laughs> if you could get them. Obviously product placement gone mad. <laughs>